Hey everyone, Matt Mitrovich here, the alternate historian. I'm back for another edition of Trope Talk. This time I'm going to break down one of the most popular alternate history tropes of all time, airships. Airships are lighter than air aircraft that are lifted by bags of gas. Primarily I'll be focusing on the rigid airship design uh, that was first uh, created and flown by Count Zeppelin. Fun fact, the firm that Zeppelin founded uh, built the vast majority of these rigid airships and it's why that most airships uh, even today are still known as Zeppelins. Rigid airships outer skin or envelope was supported by an internal frame. This allowed them to be larger and contain more ba gas bags. More gas bags meant that they could carry more weight. More weight meant they could do more things. From the 1900s to the 1930s, airships were used for passenger lighters, strategic bombers, and even flying aircraft carriers. Two big reasons. One, Airships needed either hydrogen or helium to stay aloft, and hydrogen is incredibly flammable, while helium uh, is rare and expensive. Two, airships came around the same time as planes did, and planes were considered both safer and faster means of travel. Thus, airships be quickly became obsolete. But you still see an uh, airship of the blimp variety that's used for advertising purposes. Everything. Airships are everywhere throughout Alton history. Authors like S.M. Sterling use them, as do many steampunk authors. In fact, if you see an airship on a book cover, it is either going to be an alternate history or a steampunk story, which often is the same thing. On top of that, a lot of television shows will use airships when they're dealing with uh, alternate histories or parallel timelines. Uh, good examples of that are Doctor Who and Fringe. Again, airships, most popular alternate history trope ever. Quick primer. Trope is good, cliche is bad. And to be completely honest, airships are cliche. Uh, the market is just oversaturated with them, and to be very frank, they represent lazy world building. Observe. Okay, team, we need to create an obligatory alternate history episode for our famous sci fi show. Anyone have any ideas? Well, we could, through diligent research and hard work, create a lot of small changes, such as the way the actors dress, the background scenery, even the way people speak to each other, to really show the audience that we have created an alternate history. I got it! We'll just have airships flying around everywhere! Brilliant! Good, because I really want to see less airships in my alternate history. There are few, if any, timelines where they could have conceivably replaced airplanes as preferred means of air travel. Do your research and find some other technology to highlight besides giant bags of gas. Hey guys, Matt again. Just a friendly reminder that if you like what you see, please consider becoming one of my patrons on Patreon. I got a lot of fun rewards and milestone goes for my patrons, and I think you guys will really enjoy what I have in store. Uh, there's a link below in the show notes, and uh, thank you ahead of time for uh, supporting me. Uh, and I will see you guys again for the next Trope Talk. Bye!